There's one particular incident in that recent win by Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, which has really turned the tables on her having an easy ride over here by the British media. But what is it? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Just a quick update on that ongoing saga. As we know from last week, Meghan Markle, otherwise known as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, was very, very happy to receive the fact that she had won her privacy claim against Associated News Limited. They are the publishers of the Mail Online, the Daily Mail, and of course, the Mail on Sunday. It was reported across the globe, and of course, then Meghan herself put out this particular statement. In fact, it seemingly, by the speed of it, she seemed to have had it ready for some time. But let's not quibble, and as ever, let's say allegedly. But moving forward, this, let me tell you, is one of the problems that she made a mistake in that particular statement, and I'll explain. The problem was, while she went on about privacy and tabloid and all that sort of stuff, which, you know, everybody knows anyway, you know, we all kind of know exactly how the tabloids work. And if you're buying something like The Globe or The National Enquirer, you're not exactly sitting down and thinking, this is a great piece of literature. It's fun gossip. You know, ultimately, some of the headlines they come up with, you do have to think, wow, how did they get away with that? But then if you take it with a pinch of salt and think, it's totally not true. But here's the problem now for Meghan, because in that lengthy statement, which was released exactly like a royal statement, if you noted, there was one line that seemingly has angered quite a lot of people over at the mail. And it's that particular line which states, Lord Jonathan Rothmere. Now, as you know, Lord Rothmere is the owner of the DMG Group, the owners, of course, of all of those newspapers and websites. Now, he likes to keep very much under the radar, doesn't like, of course, necessarily his name to be associated with anything. That's why he pays a lot of money to a lot of people to run those newspapers. Now, an insider tells me, and as ever, we always have to say allegedly at this point, but an insider told me at the newspaper that this was the one line that really and truly upset the apple cart within the newsroom. And as I've said before, for Meghan, if she's expecting an easy ride by releasing a sort of fake, if you like, royal statement, then that line in particular was the one that will ensure they won't rest until they get their truth. Never mind Meghan's truth, as she spoke so many times on the Oprah Winfrey show. As I've said also before, truly, I wish them both a lot of luck moving forward in their press coverage for all of the good things that they're planning to do because hopefully that gets reported alongside a lot of the bad things that seemingly make all those global headlines. Whether they like it or not, it seemingly is the global headlines of the negative stories that are really shaping their narrative moving forward. Neil Sean in the heart of London.